keep it low down, no doubt. Hit that like, subscribe, and comment below. What's good, fam, bam? Welcome back to another episode of Loked Out TV. You already know how we do it, man. We're going to keep it loked out, no doubt. For real, coming at you with another loked out banger. And this one right here, oh, man, we're going to be talking a little bit about G-Face. That's right, man, G-Face. Okay, check it out. Before we jump up into the topic, though, almost got sidetracked. Before we jump up into the topic, I'm going to need y'all to keep it all the way loked out with me. If you haven't hit that subscribe, it would be highly appreciated if you hit that subscribe. Also, hit that like and most definitely hit that notification bell. And if you really want to level up in the game, hit that comment section and talk your shh. Because that's exactly what the comment section is there for, man. So, G-Face has been picked up by federal agents right for allegedly allegedly uh, I believe he's he's been picked up for like some type of a scam or fraud or something like that check it out man we got a clip coming your way from Cinna what is Cinna Mills or yeah Cinna Mill uh, TV something like that the credits are right there man you see it um, you'll see it on the screen if you want to go check out the channel Go subscribe. They're a pretty big channel. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, the clip says that this fool has been picked up for allegedly fraudulent activities. Um, taking out loans of, loans of, like, huge amounts of money. You know, we talking, like, Three, what was it? Three point three hundred thousand dollars or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, putting down payments on mansions. You know, and you know, I don't know. I don't know if I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I heard to the grapevine. I heard to the grapevine that uh, you know, after his last little encounter with the homie Bozo, that that fool had to go buy a new house, and that's why he had to go get this loan so he could relocate because the beef got a little too real that's just my understanding of the situation you know you can you can run with it or you it is what it is you know what i'm saying so that being said uh yeah so this food's been picked up by the feds and from what i understand i think possibly his wife has been picked up too i don't know but uh, it's looking real sticky. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the clip. Hear what's got to be said on the situation. And I'll be back. Let's go. G-Face has been arrested and is in federal custody facing charges of conspiracy to commit wire fraud, securing property derived from unlawful activity and criminal forfeiture. The government alleges that G-Face and his wife secured economic injury disaster loans totaling $144,000 and a paycheck protection loan totaling $20,000. The feds allege this was used for a down payment on their home. The indictment states that G-Face conspired to falsify IRS Form Schedule C, exaggerating his business, Lodestar's gross revenue at $314,000. Finally, the indictment states that he failed to disclose his felony record on the loan application. This case underscores how the government can levy multiple charges against individuals. Let's keep G-Face in our thoughts and prayers. Oh, man. Right? Like, woo. Uh, and you know what, man? I'm, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and say it is. Uh, I mean, we've been seeing that fool. We've been seeing that fool on, uh, you know, YouTube. We've been seeing that fool all over social media, no jumper, um, doing all the extras, you know. So, uh, I don't know exactly. <laughs> Look, all I'm going to say is it's ugly and it could get more ugly. I don't know, man. Uh, it is what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Whew. Man, uh, I know I know the truck community was on this fool's helmet for a good minute over uh, the whole the whole thing he was doing, trying to like help people become successful truckers or uh, uh, what's that? Uh, double brokers or something like that. I don't know. I don't even know what all that is. 
But all I know is uh, this fool has gotten into a mess. He's in a wreck, um, which is messed up because I know he does have a daughter. You know, he does have a family. I hate to see it like this. You know, I hate to see it, bro. You know, um, because when you messing with the feds, it ain't no joke. You know, and I've done heard this many a times, especially from homies that did fed time. Uh, if the feds are coming after you, bro, then they got a case. You know, if the feds are coming after you, then they have a case. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't no ifs, it ain't no maybes, it ain't no let's go ahead and, 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 and charge them with this and see if we can make it stick. You know, none of that. If the feds come after you, then they got a case. And not only do they have a case, but uh, you're going to do a lot of time on that case. So, um, I mean... It is what it is, man. We just gonna have to uh stick around and see what happens. That being said, I hope y'all enjoy the video. Much love, much respect. Comment below. Let me know what y'all think about this situation. Y'all know how we do it. We're gonna keep it locked out, no doubt. For real till the next one, and I'm out. Locked out TV thought you knew. Keep it G and keep it fly. Locked out merch you got.